Welcome, this is where nerds come to learn things. If it's your first time here, click on the subscribe button and on the bell icon to get notifications about new videos. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoy it. I'm working on this little USB charging port which is on this unit which goes in the car. It's like a cigarette like an adapter thing, like a multi-way adapter. So it's got multiple outputs on the front. Not a very good quality thing. But it's purchased from a store locally, you know, that's what it is. And it's got a linear regulator in there for providing 5 volts on the output here, right? And um, it won't charge a phone. Not charging. No charge. So I'm sort of looking at this, obviously well, you've got power, so it must be data lines, right? So it's called cool a power off to this. Over. And data lines on a connector, there's no connections. Right, I've already determined that before I pulled it apart, so obviously I measured the data lines to make sure that there was actually, you know, something there. And there's different configurations for these data lines for how they work. And different manufacturers do different methods and it's all very messy. Now, one suggestion I've seen is to put um, less than, well, between 15 and 24 kilo ohm resistors down to ground from those data lines. That will give you a, a charging card. I think it's half an amp or something like that. So, being a linear regulator in here, half an amp will be better than nothing. So, I'm inclined to put that in there. Now, there's also other alternatives, like this Apple version, which has um, pull up and pull down as well. So, it's a bit, yeah. I don't know, we'll see how we go. So I'm going to try um, maybe doing something with this. So pull downs, there's also short them as well. You can short them together so there's a high current charger, but you know, I don't know about pulling high current through a linear regulator and something this small with almost no heat sink. So I'm a bit on the fence about which method to use. So I think I'm probably going to go with a, um, a pull down resistor method um, on those two pins there and see what we get. Um, they're putting the pull-up spot on there as well, but I have to look at that. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do is do the resistors. Now, you can see that the other pins here are going to be the shield, and it runs up to this trace just here. So that's going to there. So I'm going to do is just connect the resistors to there, and to that pad there. It's nice and straight, straight out. Now I have to look at if, what I do about the positive side. I may have to tack on or something. If I need to do a pull-up, I think I probably will have to, because it kind of makes sense to do pull-ups at the same time. So I'm just going to twist them together and solder those, get them nice and parallel and um, we can attach those in I'll trim bit of that off right. soldering on uh, I use the less well, the less expensive solder this one's alright, it's, it's just quite big. Fish stuff on there. Fish stuff on here. Burn the fingers and the heat transferred up to the up the parts. Right. Okay. I think that will go quite nicely. Alright, just solder those on there. They're tacked on. So what I'll do now is just cut that off here. Solder it on here. And um, now it's secured. I'll just come back and refresh these ones, get these nice. Okay. So that's the pull downs on there. So in theory, I think it needs pull ups as well. Right, let's try this thing out with the pull downs, nothing else. I don't think that will work, so we'll see what we get. And let's plug the phone in. Yeah, not charging. So, just the pull downs alone, which is one of the things which it shows, um, is not going to do the job. So, we need pull ups, which kind of makes sense because otherwise you don't have a voltage divider. I was questioning that part, and that just confirms that just pull downs alone are not correct. So there's some confusion about the buddy pull-ups and stuff because I noticed the reference is 3.6 volt pull-up voltage is like that just doesn't make sense. So I've got alternatives I can try. This one is a bust. I don't think that's going to work. 
So I'll take those back off again, that's fine. Now the next one I'm going to try is the Apple charger. Right, since it's an Apple phone, it's likely to be using an Apple phone anyway. I'm guessing it might work with the Samsung still, I don't know. There's two ways you can do this. You can actually do a resistor network. Right, so use a resistor network with these to create a divider using um, 50 ohms and 75 ohms, uh, sorry, 75k resistors in order to uh, give a signal for um, 500 milliamp charging current. I think if you use 43k, I think it was instead, you get um, a 1 amp charging current instead. So, that's one way. But the other, another way is to actually just short those two pins together and put like a 2 mega ohm resistor or something, or less than 2 mega ohms between those and ground to pull them down. Um, and also for up as well. So, you know, say 1.5 mega ohm down, 1.5 mega ohm up, and um, do it that way. That's a high current charger. I don't want to draw too much current from this regulator, so I'm going to go with this way first. Although that for other ways are easier, so I'm playing around with resistors instead and trying to get it to work that way. So right, that's what I'm going to go for now is the Apple charger route, which is this combination. So we'll get on there. So I'll take these resistors back off again first because that's still going to work. Nice experiment. Maybe someone will have a bit more of an idea about how to get those ones work. Maybe I'm interpreting something correctly for the information I've got as possible. So anyway, we'll do these next. So these are the 75, no, 50 ohm resistors which have to go to the ground. So I've got to repeat the same thing with these as I to be the other ones. So we'll get these set up. Right, let's get these soldered on. Down before they get too hot. Get on, get on So close. Here we go. Yes, yeah, a big blob of solder. I'm not too worried about it right now. I'm just experimenting. If it works, I'll tidy it up. So that's the pull downs. Now I've got to do a 75k pull ups. So they've got to go to. The positive pin, actually, that one there is looking really close to that pin. I'm not happy with that. I've got the light on a bit differently. I'm just not liking the way it looks. Come on. Okay. So that's the pull. That's the positive side there. And I see that's the five volt output from the regulator is right here. So what I'll probably do is attach it to the regulator leg. But these are much larger resistors, so I'm not quite sure the best way of doing this. I've got clearance inside the case so I should be okay I think to just um, stick them straight on top like that and just hope for the best. I think that's what we'll go for. Yeah I'm being fussy making sure the same way around you know because you know, why not. Turn these legs off. I'm going to put those on top of those as well. Just bend them, get those sort of stack a bit nicer. Okay. 
Okay. Now this got to go down to that leg just there, so I'm just going to fold that round. Shorten it up a bit, don't need that much wire on there. Let's stay there. again actually. Yep, let's do a bit shorter again. Up the twisting on the wires, so I'll have to do these individually now. That's not that much of a problem. Come on, cooperate. Don't want to short that out either. Not pretty, but let's give it a go. It's all attached correctly. No shorts that I can see. Alright, let's try it. Let's see if it works. Turn the power on. Okay, we're getting 5 volts coming out. That's safe. Let's plug the phone in. And still no charging. Still nothing. So, still doesn't work, even though that's one of the ones that shows there's being a way to do it. Right, well, let's not do that then. Let's try again. Let's take all this off. This is certainly a pain, isn't it? Right, so now I'm going to try the third technique, which is to short those two pins together. So I've got two 1 mega ohm resistors here, which I'm going to shove it into there, and then go one positive, one negative to be pull up, pull down. And then we'll see how that goes. One of these ways will work. Let's pull up there, attach it to that resistor, wherever that part is there. This one. So the last one. Let's see if this is going to do the job. Turn it on. We have five volts. Let's plug into the phone, and it's working. Now we're getting charging. So the very last one is one which has actually worked. <laughs> the one which isn't actually the normal one for Apple stuff. Go figure. Maybe it is. Maybe the information is wrong online. So there we go. That's what does it. So, I don't know about the charging counts on that. Um, that may be drawing too much current, I really don't know, but that's going to be a mess. I'm going to tidy this up and carry on. So, one mega ohm resistors between positive and negative, and linking those two data pins together. There you go. Hope you found it interesting. Catch you later. Don't forget to subscribe, click the bell icon, and that sort of stuff.